Don't you just love it when a makeup artist makes one of those cute little face charts for you? Well now, you've got a whole book of them on specialty paper that's been designed specifically for my new Making Faces collection and all of the art supplies that are part of it. So much fun. <laughs> just so many ways that you can use this little pad of face charts and I want to show you one of my favorite methods I like to start with some of my matchmaker acrylic paint this dries to a super matte finish that you can then add all of your pencils watercolor other acrylic paints all of the pastels and the things from the making faces collection all go on top of this lovely dried paint the other beautiful thing about the matchmaker paint set is just with those three colors that allows you to mix and match a huge variety of skin tones from light to dark and you can also use the lightning and darkening drops to add shadows or highlights to whichever color of skin you would like to create the inspiration of course with the bottles and with the whole concept is foundation so you're creating that foundation layer and as you can see when I've painted that I've left the eyes with no paint but I painted right over the nose and the lips because you can just treat my artwork which is under there as part of the face chart it's just a suggestion of where the features might end up in your artwork so you can paint over those and then recreate them so for this girl I wanted to change her features a little just as a personal challenge to myself and just for fun really I've already let the paint dry it's of quite a fast drying acrylic but depending on where you are in the world what the weather's like the humidity in the room that you have you just do want to make sure that it doesn't feel cool if you put your hand on the back of the page if it feels cool if the paper feels cool it means the acrylic isn't quite dry yet you might just want to give it a little bit more time especially for things like colored pencils and really dry media they prefer a dry surface to work on I'm adding pastels from the making faces collection so that palette there with all those little color swatches on it they are eyeshadow inspired pastels they are divine and they love this beautiful surface they also love just the surface of the face charts uh, but they love that um, matte paint as well I'm also using the, the ultimate pens I'm using the LTQ or license to quill pen this dries very quickly it's a waterproof ink and if you saw back as I was going along I changed the shape of the eye gave her more of a cat's eye I've also been using some of the shimmering pastels to add a shimmering highlight to her cheekbones to her eyelids to bring them out to um, add start adding real volume to the face and I love watching makeup tutorials on YouTube I'm just it's just a beautiful thing watching people transform and um, I love it when the beauty gurus add a shimmering highlight to that inside corner of the eye so all of the things that you would like to play with with makeup that you see makeup artists doing you can do that on your own artwork and if you are a makeup artist you can practice your art uh, your skills on face charts on this example I've got my matchmaker paint uh, on the skin tone already and I've added some of my masquerade rub-on set to the eyes and that's an open set of eyes uh, the actual face chart her eyes are closed and I actually did this during the live broadcast uh, showing showcasing this whole collection 
in the background I really wasn't sure what kind of what color hair I wanted to draw for this girl I knew I wanted to use my color sticks so I'm putting down layers of color adding water and then adding another color so rather than get a blanket black hair I want it to have some life in it and to have some other colors and as with all things it's about experimenting and playing and I love experimenting and playing with all of my art supplies. I'm using the palette pastels and the Mermalicious brushes, uh, just like adding makeup to your face, um, using the brushes to move powders around and add volume, add uh, texture, add contouring. These are the drama sticks that I'm adding here. So this is a non-water soluble, smudgeable eyeliner inspired or lipstick, a uh, lip liner rather, inspired pencil. It's, oh, they're just so much fun to use. And it may not be to everyone's taste, but when I like to put my paint down, I like it to be in a very painterly style, a very loose style. Uh, to me, oh, I just think it looks very beautiful. So you can see that in the face tone as well. But there's nothing to stop you from doing something that's perfectly executed and uh, morphs in a smooth transition and every plane and part of the face is all smooth and perfection. If that is what your heart wills you to do, then that is exactly what you should do. Um, of course, you don't just have to use these face charts in isolation. I like to add backgrounds and then tape them in my journals. That's called a tip in. So I just add it as a little insert or as a little extra flap. And it's just another little page. I can add some journaling to it on the front, on the back, and just let it incorporate. The paper has enough body that allows you to do everything that I've just shown you, but also it's still thin enough to just pass as paper. It's not gonna bulk up your journal. If you're watching this on YouTube, check the description box below uh, for all the links that you need to see all of these different products and for all of my social media. And if you're watching this elsewhere, why not check out my YouTube channel? That's where you'll find all sorts of other videos, including more of these I came, I saw, I contoured face chart tutorials. Mm -hmm.